Hey Wanderlusters, glad to see all of you guys. So I want to talk copywriting today. The words you use in your email, social media posts, and on your sales pages are critical. They're either going to entice your potential clients to stick around and buy, or they just fizzle out until you hear crickets. So if you want to immediately amp up your marketing, then you've got to listen in to our top tips on how you can instantly attract more clients, build your tribe, and have a lot more fun with your writing. Because I know a lot of you don't really love copywriting. So really, you do not need to be a good writer, okay? So if you want more ways to up your online marketing mojo, you have to join us for our upcoming challenge. Okay, it's a marketing challenge for you all, and it starts next week on Monday, September 21st, and it goes through the 29th. I put the link above so you can grab it there. So let me talk a little bit about this for a few minutes. So many people struggle with copywriting. They really get so fatigued about it, and uh, they have trouble expressing what they have in their heart what they really want to say to their ideal clients and it ends up coming out like they just can't express and get out what they really want to say it's frustrating i know because i used to be that way um it it takes a while to get the hang of it but but once you do like i said you don't have to be a good writer is just understanding the style of writing more than anything. So what the biggest problem is, is most of our heart-based entrepreneurs, they tend to focus more on speaking about themselves. So they are more what we call client-centric, um, excuse me, practitioner-centric about them rather than about the client. That would be client-centric. So what does it mean to be practitioner-centric? It means like if you were doing a Facebook post, you would say something like, um, join me for this upcoming workshop. I'm you know, certified in this, that, and the other thing. I'm going to be sharing this. I'm going to be doing that, blah, blah, blah instead of approaching your writing from the point of view of the client being client-centric and saying something like this, if you are experiencing X, Y, and Z, I'd like to talk a little bit about that. So you would express a little bit about those main pain points that your ideal client has so they can see that you actually understand the problems they are experiencing. And this is really important because it positions you as a, an expert that they can depend on, right? Uh, if you don't do that and you just say, I'm certified in this, that comes across really, really practical practitioner centric it is like very egoic instead of really sharing what you know to help your clients and that way they can see you as an expert without you having to tell them you are so that is really important so focusing in on all of the needs and desires of your clients are key so we need to first then get really clear on who our ideal client is and what their main problems are and how we can help them. That way it becomes the basis of really good copywriting. And that is the most critical thing. And most of us, because we don't tend to love marketing, right? We tend to just do the things we like which is teaching and don't concentrate really on our clients wants and needs and how we can get so clear on them that we can express that in our marketing so they know right away we are the one to help them so um 
one thing I think really helps in marketing because a lot of people have resistance to this and to copywriting, of course, is knowing that whether you are in the process of building your tribe or you have a tribe and you want to keep growing it, or you're in the middle of marketing a program or a product or a virtual treat, whatever it is, you really need to change your mind about the whole process of marketing, okay? It's important to understand that marketing is an act of service. It's a sacred act of service because here's the thing. If you don't get good at marketing and copywriting and expressing yourself in a way that your clients know you're the one for them, then they stay out there suffering because they can't find you. They can't, you're not reaching them. And that's why I say marketing is a sacred act of service because you cannot service your clients if you cannot put yourself out there in a way that people can find you, okay? So that is very, very, very important. That That's like the ground floor um, foundation for all of your marketing. So once you're really clear about that, it makes it easier to get involved in the things you don't love, which could be copywriting, and um, say, okay, I'm, I'm actually going to pay attention to this. I'm going to learn more about this because my clients are the number one focus of my business. It's why I exist. It's what I'm here to do, to help, to serve, to create transformation in the lives of others. And I'm going to put all of that heebie-jeebie stuff I have around marketing aside, okay? That's why we're doing this challenge, okay? We wanna get you loving marketing. And, you know, if you're out there, you know you have to build a list. You know you have to get better at copywriting. So we really, would love for you to join us. You're going to learn a lot over the week together with us. So when you are doing your copywriting, one of the most simple uh, suggestions I could give you is make sure always you're talking in your copywriting like you're talking to your best friend in a coffee shop. Because that's really how we talk to people, right? And for some reason, when we get to writing emails and doing marketing, we start talking like, not like us, you know what I mean? It's like we would never talk like that in real life. So the whole idea is talking plain, plainly, like what I'm doing now, just like you and I are sitting having a cup of coffee together, right? That's the best way to do your marketing. So if you can picture one person that you would like to talk to and help and speak to them in that way, it's really going to make a shift in your copywriting. And of course, get real about the problems and issues that they're struggling with. When we are practitioner centric, we say things in our language rather than in the language that people use. So, you know, if someone is getting, let's say, upset about something, we might say, well, you know, you should not be projecting your feelings on others. But people don't speak like that, right? They don't. That's your language. It's practitioner speak. We want to use just common language. Saying something like, if you're mad, you know, be clear about what you're mad about and own it and don't throw it on someone else. Like that's saying the same thing, but in normal language. So make sure you are not using practitioner speak in your marketing and instead you're getting down and dirty and just speaking normal language. Okay. Now, also, a lot of heart-centered entrepreneurs are afraid to do an ask, meaning they're afraid to tell their tribe what they want them to do, whether that's to sign up for your you know, freebie or sign up for something that's going on, like I'm asking you to sign up for our challenge, right? I'm just asking. 
<laughs> and you can say yes or no, right? But you wouldn't know what to do if I didn't ask you, right? So you've got to think about, are you afraid to do an ask? Because no one minds if you ask. They're either going to do it or they're not. They're not going to be pissed at you. I don't think anyone listening to me today speak about copywriting is going to be mad because I asked to sign up and join us for the challenge next week, right? So it's, it's really important to just be clear on how you're communicating. Come from the heart. Make sure you really are clear that marketing is a sacred sacred act of service and that you don't have a business unless you're serving people. Like if I'm not serving and helping you, why the heck am I here, right? Hopefully these tips help and if you want a ton more of tips, we are getting down and dirty for an entire week. We are going to be meeting in the Facebook group every single day for about an hour. We're going to give you stuff to do, and you are really going to have a lot of clarity at the end of a week. If you've ever participated in one of our challenges before, you know how much fun it is, and you know how we rock it. So I hope to see you there. Love you guys. And uh, yeah, put yourself out there and don't be afraid. Uh, if I can learn copywriting, and I used to be a physician, so can you. Uh, it's not that hard. It's just really speaking from the heart. Okay, you guys, I'll see you in the challenge next week. Love you all. Bye.